I just got so much yarn. We're gonna go into autopilot. Hope you enjoy her. Now you won't be lonely. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. For today's video, I will be crocheting as many loaf cats as I can. Some of you might already know that I've been doing this challenge. I posted on YouTube Shorts and then also on Instagram, but basically I have been obsessed with making these loaf cats. They have been all over Instagram. I feel like all over social media in general. They have taken the crochet world by storm and I am hopping on the trend because you guys know I love cats. So I can't think of a better challenge for myself than to make as many cats as possible. I will say this video is kind of chaotic like I could not make up my mind you guys will see as the video goes on I was like maybe I should do how many cats I can crochet in a day crochet as many cats as I can with me or like limit myself to a certain number we'll go through all of that together and spoiler alert this is part one of the challenge I have honestly been super busy this month and I haven't been as dedicated as I wanted to be to this challenge I feel like my poor loaf cats are just kind of like pushed to the side but by posting part one, I am holding myself accountable and I will come out with a part two where we finish the challenge. But okay, I'm gonna stop talking now and let's get into today's video. Hey guys, I know what you guys are thinking, like Jenna, why are we in your bathroom? Well, before we start making loaf cats, I actually wanted to start my day off by using the wonderful UFO 3 by Foreo Sweden. I don't think I've officially mentioned it on this channel before, but I am not a makeup or like skincare girly. I rarely wear makeup and you guys probably have already noticed that. And my skincare routine has probably stayed exactly the same for the past like six years. I usually like sticking to the same old same old but recently I have introduced a new step to my skincare routine and that is by incorporating the UFO 3 and this actually brings us to the sponsor of today's video Foreo Sweden so if you guys didn't already know the UFO 3 by Foreo Sweden is a deep facial hydration device that literally gives you the benefits of five spa facials all in this little handy device so I personally suffer from dry skin and ever since starting a YouTube channel I've noticed it more and more because I'm always on camera looking at myself. So the UFO 3, which is the latest product in the UFO collection, has really been a game changer for my skin. Like it really does what it says it's supposed to do. I've been using it for a few months now and I have never felt my skin feel more hydrated or healthy. So to kick off today, I wanted to act like a little lifestyle or like beauty vlogger and show you guys my routine. So when it comes to using the UFO 3, it's super simple. You place the mask right here and then you get to decide whether you want it to be cool or warm on your skin. With it being summer in California, it has definitely been super hot out and it leaves my skin even more dry. So I have been using the cooling cryotherapy option a lot lately. It's also super nice because it helps depuff around my eyes. So here are some of the masks that I got and I'm actually gonna be using this mask today. It is called Make My Day. Today, I'm gonna use the offline mode so I won't need the app. So there's actually eight different treatments that you can choose from and you can switch between the treatments by just clicking the button. Super simple. And like I mentioned earlier, I am going to be using the cooling cryotherapy option. And you just pop the mask on like that. It comes with this little ring and you can secure it. And then you just rub it all over and it's so nice because this also vibrates. So it's literally like a deep facial massage. If you wanna try the UFO 3 by Foreo Sweden, I actually have a 30% off discount code in the description box down below. Just click the link to redeem it. There's also an additional 10% off for the first 50 people that use my coupon code Jenna10 at checkout. The UFO 3 rarely goes on sale. So this is your sign if you wanna try it to buy it. And lastly, Foreo Sweden is actually celebrating their anniversary this month and to celebrate they're having a super fun giveaway. You have the chance of winning a free product. All you have to do is click the link in my description box down below and apply to the Foreo birthday giveaway. Thank you so much again Foreo Sweden for sponsoring today's video and with that let's get crocheting. Hello friends, I'm coming on because look, I just 
got so much yarn. I just placed a big order at Joann's and I had to show you guys. So as you can see, I especially wanted to show you guys because this is a bunch of yarn that I don't typically use. Look at all of these fun colors. This is a mix of Bernat Blanket Yarn and Big Twist Plush. So really exciting yarn haul. Let's dive into it. I'm actually gonna raise up my standing desk because I think this is a perfect opportunity to just stand. Okay, there we go. Also, ugh, I hate how my blue light glasses, you can kind of see the reflection. Actually, not kind of, you can see the reflection. And like, ah! I hope it doesn't bother you guys. I'm sorry in advance. But okay, let's start with the Big Twist Plush. So like I mentioned earlier, I never really use Big Twist Plush. This kind of reminds me of like a calico mix. So I picked up this. Technically, this yarn is classified as a size six. I will say that Big Twist Plush is thicker than Bernat Blanket. Let me show you guys an example. You can just see by glancing that Big Twist is thicker. I don't wanna like mess up my skein. Okay, and then here's the side by side. Technically, Bernat Blanket is also classified as a size six though, but just with that in mind, I'm guessing my cats that are made out of Big Twist plush will be a little bigger, but that's totally fine. I want them jumbo anyway. And then the second skein that I got from Big Twist plush is this really fun rainbow. I want to say it's like sherbet colors, really pretty rainbow sherbet colors. Obviously, this is not going to model a realistic cat, but it would make a really fun sherbet cat, so I'm excited for this. I thought I got more skeins of Big Twist plush, but I guess I didn't. So moving on to Bernat Blanket. This is the Baby Blanket collection, and this is in color Tabby, which is very fitting. Look at this coloring. Oh my goodness. When I saw this, it just immediately said cat to me. Like, this is the perfect perfect colorway for some cats. Oh, actually, sorry, I feel like I'm all over the place. This colorway for Big Twist, in case you guys wanna get the same thing, this is called Varg Pastel. I'll put it on the screen. So that is the Sherbert color one. And then this one is called Varg Neutral, which is very fitting considering the color palette. Okay, next I got more Bernat Blanket yarn, and this is their Tweeds collection. And again, look at this. It screams orange cat. I really want to make Shay, so I think this is the perfect color for her. And this is in the color Woodland Tweed. Next, it is another tweed collection. Look at this. This has more of an orange base, whereas this one has more of a white base, but both of them have the cute little orangey colors in it. And this is sandy tweed. Okay, next we're moving on to the more gray color scale. This is also the tweed collection and it's in color dove tweed. And I thought this was really pretty for some gray cats, some tabby cats. Really, really cute. Sticking with the gray color scheme. This is Bernat Blanket, but this is from their tie-dye-ish collection. And let me see, this is in colorway Pebble Beach. That's a pretty good name. Like, it does remind me of just pebbles scattered throughout the beach. I'm running out of room on my desk. Wait, let me put these all back so they're not in the frame. Okay, next we're going back to tweeds. This is Bernat Blanket in the color Ivory Tweed. And this necessarily wouldn't be realistic either, just because it's like navy colors mixed in with white, but I thought it would make a cute cat regardless. And then sticking with the blue color scheme, this is the last skein that I got. It's also from Bernat Blanket Tweeds, and this is in colorway C Tweed. And again, not going to be a realistic cat, but how cute is this blue color? Kind of reminds me of a blueberry, honestly, with all the different blue specks. And that's it with the yarn haul. I am really excited, you guys. I really want to challenge myself and try to use up all of this yarn. I have a really bad habit, which probably a lot of us have if you're watching this video I buy way too much yarn and I end up not using it <laughs> so I really want to challenge myself and finish out all of these skeins that I bought and I want to make you know my entire cat army and it's perfect because you know market season is coming up I'm hoping to enter into my next market this summer so I gotta make a lot of cats Actually, I'm coming back on. There's no time like the present, so let's jump into this challenge right now. I literally stopped recording in the previous clip, and then I sat down at my desk and I'm like, 
I'm never gonna do that if I don't do it now like if I don't hold myself accountable and make this video and film it I would have never done it so let's hold ourselves accountable and let's do it the real question is what color do I want to start out with I feel like making Shay will really help motivate me to keep going with this challenge and finish it so let me go grab some orange yarn okay we got our yarn let's do this and just a reminder, this pattern is by Annie Caraway Art, I think. Wait, let me pull up the pattern. Yes, that is her name. Okay. It is from Annie Caraway Art. I will link it down below. And then I like using a six millimeter hook with 18 millimeter eyes. I just like left a little note for myself. I've mentioned this in previous videos, but this app that I like using on my iPad to house all of my patterns is called Notability. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is the best app for hosting all of your crochet patterns, especially patterns that you buy and download and never use, AKA what a majority of these patterns are in my iPad. Pat, I still have to make them. I don't even want to think about all of the patterns that I have bought that I have never made. That's another video challenge that I think would be really fun. But okay, let's get started. Let's grab the hook. I am looking for my six millimeter. So I actually don't have a sparkly six millimeter hook. I gotta get one. The sparkly resin hooks that I usually use, let me show you guys real quick. These are by Hooks and Glitter. Her name is Ashley. She hand makes these hooks and they are beautiful. Highly recommend. She only does it in limited drops though. So you really have to be paying attention to her Instagram to see when the next drop is. But I need to be on the lookout for it because I need a sparkly six millimeter. I'll put her website down below though if you wanna check it out. The honorary ripping of the skein. <laughs> Wow, it actually feels kind of weird standing. I haven't used my standing desk in so long because it was broken for the longest time. I shared with you during the room makeover video, but my house in Mississippi where we used to live, it actually got struck by lightning last year. And thankfully, you know, everything was fine, but all of our electronics were fried. Like we had recessed lighting. And when we went to go see the damage from the lightning, when we took out the bulbs, it was like literally burnt because the lightning you know hit our house and like all the electricity jolted through really quick I guess and like burned everything so like my standing desk was ruined we have a peloton the peloton got fried our tv got fried anything that was plugged in the moment the lightning struck basically got fried but anyway fast forward to present day when I was doing my room makeover I did get a new standing desk from flexi spot and wow this is like the first time I've used the standing feature and it feels great it feels really nice to just be standing up and like not hunched over for once but okay i need to focus because i haven't memorized this pattern yet so let's get crocheting here's what it's looking like so far you guys it's super cute i'm loving this yarn all right we are at this spot I decided I will attach the eyes but I will wait until the very end when I have all of my cats to put on like the mouth the whiskers and the little butthole just because sewing and embroidering the facial features it takes time and I'm just in you know autopilot mode I want to crank out as many cats as I can so I will save all of that for the very end but yeah it's coming together I really love how this yarn is looking like like, it is such a cool colorway but well, yeah like look at that it is awesome it's not shea completely so I actually did just realize that this cat pattern comes with two color options let me show you on the iPad so basically you could do just like the plain color which I've been doing like the cat is all one color or you could do this option where you have like a little spot and the stripe. So this one would be perfect for Shay, but I would have to do like white body and then make the spots orange. So that will definitely be what I work on for cat number two. Cat number one is just a fun little orange calico. Let's get back to it. I also put my hair up because I was getting a little hot. Crochet is a workout, especially when you're working with this blanket yarn. You can definitely feel it in your arms and your wrist, and it can make you hot. Like, it is like working out. So I had to put my hair up. <laughs> We're getting down to business today. I'm kind of rethinking the challenge, though, because, what, I have 
like seven skeins and for me to finish all seven I feel like that's gonna be a lot or I feel like this video will take me forever to film and make so I don't know maybe I should switch up the challenge maybe I'll do one of those like how much can I crochet in 24 hours kind of video like maybe that's more fitting and more realistic I don't know we'll see how I feel I'm gonna keep going maybe I'll finish out this skein that I started with and then after that I'll reassess and then editing Jenna we'll just have to do her magic it's stuffing time It's coming out so chonky. Look at her. So loafy. And the little legs, the little bobble legs. So cute. There's nothing more satisfying than like cinching clothes a plushie. One cat, somewhat done. I need to make the tail really quick. Okay, cat number one is done. Look how adorable. Well, just pretend there's whiskers and a mouth and a butthole, but super, super cute. Let me grab the other cat I made. This cat isn't part of the challenge. I made this one a few weeks back. How adorable are these loaves? I think my favorite thing is that they can like stack. Like how cute would that look in a market if you just have like a huge tower of kitties? I'm gonna be so happy, you guys, with all of the cats. I cannot wait. It'll be worth all of the crocheting for sure, and I am going to be doing a lot of crocheting because look how much yarn we have left from the one skein. Like, we have all of this left. I feel like we barely made a dent. To be fair, the cat isn't the largest, you know, plushie ever, so we're probably not using a lot of yarn per cat, but I will be curious to see how many more cats I can get out of this one skein. I'm gonna place my bet and say three cats. You know what I just realized though, you guys? You know how I just showed you the other option for the pattern where you can do like two spots on the cat's face? Well, if I do that, I won't get a good sense of how many cats will come per one skein, you know? That means I'd have to commit to making, you know, the rest of the cats out of just this color. And I don't wanna hold myself to that boundary because I wanna explore, I wanna make a bunch of different cute cats. So dang, I feel like I'm all over the place. Don't hate me, but I might deviate from the original plan and make some more cats out of this and do the spotted cat so it might not necessarily you know equate to how many cats will come out of one skein but it'll be kind of close <laughs> So I went a little rogue and I tried out the spotted cat look, but I kind of designed my own because I was trying to make my friend's cat. Let me show you guys. Look how cute he turned out. This is Comrade, everybody. Look at him. I didn't give him a butthole. I need to do that. But how cute is he? I really love the little spotted cat look. I gave him like a black body on top and white body on bottom. He turned out so cute. So next on my list is I need to make Shay 100%. I think I'll use the same like facial spots for Shay and then I'll just make her main body like white and maybe I'll throw in a few orange spots here or there but I'm so excited to bring Shay to life. These loaf cats are seriously so cute and I wanted to specifically call out that this is actually Big Twist plush and he turned out really really chunky. Let me go grab the Bernat blanket cat. And show you guys okay so here is a cat I made previously and this is Bernat blanket and this is big twist plush and I guess you can't really see it that much on the camera but this one is like bigger than the sky it's weird though you really can't see it on the camera but super cute you guys I love it also I need to make a decision on like what challenge am I doing am I doing the 24 hour challenge am I gonna do how many cats I can make out of all the skeins that I got I guess I'm gonna go with the latter I'm gonna see how many cats I can make out of all seven skeins this might take me a while Guys, so I finally made Shay, and I am so obsessed with this loaf. It does look a lot like Shay, and I think I want to make my own Shay army. I will definitely make more of these orange and white cats, and then I just want to have Shay in the middle, and then all of the cats around her. It would be super cute. But okay, let me show you guys her. As you can tell, I'm very excited. Here she is! Oh my gosh. So this is the regular loaf cat pattern, but I just added in my own spots randomly and I think it turned out perfectly like look at her oh my gosh she's perfect 
she is perfect you guys i think i decided i also don't like adding the whiskers i originally added whiskers on to shay's face here but i took it away and i think it looks better without it just personally just because i always mess up putting on the whiskers and they're like crooked and then it just ruins the whole look of the cat so we're just gonna do noses going forward for all of the kitties but ah this is cat number four. I am counting the cat that I made a while ago. So we are at four cats. I did have to open up another skein. This is just plain Bernat blanket white. So now I have like eight skeins that I need to finish. But okay, I'm gonna go introduce Shay to the crochet version of herself. Let's go take crochet Shay over by real Shay. Shay, baby, look who's here. Look! Oh my goodness! Isn't that so cute? I think she likes Shay. Shay likes crochet Shay. There you go, Shay. You have a permanent little friend on your cat tower. Hope you enjoy her. Now you won't be lonely. Hey friends, happy Saturday. Just wanted to come on and check in real quick with you all regarding the cat status. I got done this little guy yesterday. So this is officially cat number four. He is the Bernat tie-dye cat, and he turned out really cute. It's definitely an interesting coloring. I would love to remake him, but do like the spot pattern where it's like the spots around his eyes and then his body white. I think that would be really cute. And then I just got done two more cats today. We ended up taking a little road trip, so I was able to crochet in the car. And let me show you guys the cats that I made. I always bring like this giant tote bag whenever I'm gonna go crochet in the car because I have to fill it with my crochet hood the yarn and then of course the work in progresses so these are the two cats I made I didn't have any stuffing with me so I just stopped right before the end of the round so I can still go back and stuff but I made two little gray cats um, this is the first one it's all gray and this is again the Bernat tie-dye skein this is the specific skein so it was pretty cool to make one all the way you know a solid gray color and then the skein just came up with this cool pattern and then the second one I made is this little guy he was made out of the same skein but I did the spot pattern so the main body is white and then he has some gray spots to him I don't know if you guys can hear Shay crying in the background but she loves carrying around this one toy and she meows so loudly and carries it around the house I don't know if other cats do that I don't know why she's doing it to be honest I think she wants to play or she's trying to show me that she like hunted something and got it I don't know but it's always so loud when she does it so yeah it was a an hour and a half drive both ways I only crocheted going there I didn't crochet going back so I made two little kitties I'm excited to close them up and then add them to my little cat tower and then I did bring this skein with me I have yet to make a cat out of this color but this is definitely next on my list this is the Bernat blanket tweed specifically in dove and this will definitely be the next skein I use I think I will do like a solid colored cat with this and then also the spotted pattern. So we're like slowly making our way through. I think I still have like three skeins that I haven't opened yet. So you know, we're gonna get there eventually. But after I finish these two cats, we will officially be at six cats total and then if you guys remembered i made this cat but this cat doesn't count towards the official cat count because i'm giving it away to my friends so he's going to his forever home this is comrade but all the other cats will be staying i was kind of thinking through what i wanted to do with all these cats once i'm done if i don't get accepted into a market this summer i guess i'll just list all these cats for adoption on my etsy so definitely stay tuned to see if they're available once this video comes out but if i do get accepted to a market this summer i will probably just bring all these cats to the market with me and hopefully they will sell okay i just got done stuffing and adding the facial features onto the cats i just showed you guys and here is the updated cat tower we have six and there's still so many cats to be made because look how full my box of yarn is it's like we didn't even make a dent into it Good morning friends it is currently monday may 13th and i wanted to come on and show you the progress i've been making with the loaf cats so i already showed you guys that i made shay's lookalike cat and i'm obsessed with her it is so cute but i went ahead and made another shay like cat here it is i made this yesterday during some free time i had look so this is like the lighter um orange mix 
Whereas with the first shade, I used the darker. And I don't know, which one do you like better? I also tried to alter the pattern and make the spots more symmetrical because this is the original pattern and you see how like this spot is a little smaller. So yeah, I edited the pattern and it, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, and I added the two little spots as well. So yeah, two shays, and now I'm making a third shay. So this is the shay I'm currently working on. I combined the two orange skeins that I had, these two, and I thought it would create a really cute cat, and so far, it is. It's like super cute. The problem is that I'm running out of my white yarn, and originally the white skein was not part of the challenge, so now I'm thinking like maybe I'll sub one of the other skeins out for the white because I've been using a ton of the white. Like I barely have any white left. That's why I started getting creative and I'm like, okay, I gotta start combining skeins. Like if I keep adding white skeins, I will never finish this project because the actual skeins that I bought for these cats, they're only making up the spots. And that's like barely anything so yeah I think I need to either eliminate the white skeins altogether or just add in the white skeins and like sub them out to be seen but I'm gonna keep crocheting <laughs> Hey friends, so I just got back from Michael's and update I got more yarn so I've been thinking, and I think I do want to cap it at eight skeins. Like the challenge will be how many cats I can make out of eight skeins, but I am going to substitute some of the skeins that I showed you earlier just because I want the cats to be cute, you know, and realistic. So let me show you guys the yarn I got. It's honestly kind of a boring haul. I literally got black burnett blanket yarn and another skein of white since we're almost on the first skein of white and that will be skein number one that we complete very exciting and then lastly i picked up another burnett blanket this is in the color beach foam and i think this one would make a really cute kitty I don't necessarily need to make like this spotted kitty. I could just do one kitty this color. So let me go show you guys the skeins that I'm gonna sub out. Okay, so these three skeins I am not going to make as part of this challenge. Okay, real quick before my camera dies, I also realized I didn't open these yet, but I have like way too much yarn. I overestimated, like I have more than eight skeins. So these also need to get subtracted. So to recap, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this first skein of white that we are almost done. So that is all the yarn. And there is the sad reject yarn. Also, oh my gosh, ignore the floor. It is filled with fluffies right now. I need to go vacuum again. I finished the multi-orange cat. She turned out so cute, you guys. It's honestly giving me like fall pumpkin spice vibes. And then I just cranked out this new cat with the yarn I just got from Michaels. Super, super cute. I think I'll make a few of her just because she looks so cute, multicolored, but I don't have to do all the color changing like with the spotted ones. The spotted ones definitely take me way longer. But the plain colored ones, I can like get them done in like 30 minutes. So we're gonna go into autopilot. But the cat pile is looking so good. Kitty army. Hello friends, it is Sunday and I have finally checked off a lot of stuff on my May to-do list so I can finally resume the cat loaf challenge that I've kind of put on the back burner. So yesterday I had my Patreon live crochet hangout. So every month I hop on a live Zoom with my patrons and we just hang out and crochet. So I made this loaf cat but I didn't realize that I was actually making it with an eight millimeter hook and I've made all the other loaf cats with a six millimeter hook. So this one is just extra jumbo and chunky, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish him. All I need to do is add his eyes, his little face details, and then his tail. And then this will put us officially at I think 10 loaf cats. Let me check. Yes, okay, this will be loaf cat number 10. And then next on my list, I wanna make a calico loaf cat. So let's get crocheting. Okay, so I just got done with the jumbo cat and just to show you guys the sizing differences Let me grab the six millimeter one. Look how jumbo this one is So this is eight millimeter versus six millimeter same exact pattern 
for anybody who might be new at crocheting and you're watching this, the way that you can size up your plushies is simply just increasing your hook size or using larger yarn. Super cute though. Okay, the loaf cat count is officially at 10 and now I'm gonna get started on the calico. Good morning friends, coming on because I just finished the calico cat and this might be my favorite cat, like look at it oh my gosh the calico is so cute i honestly have been loving the shea cats that i've been making but this calico one is so cute with the different colors and the good news is this is cat number 11 and we're finally almost done one skein this is how much i have left of the white so we are getting there we're making progress one skein down seven more to go but i'm gonna go add this cat to the pile the tower is getting pretty large. I think I will need a new spot soon to put all these cats because I don't think this tower will be suitable. Like, wait, there we go. The calico is barely holding on. Oh my gosh, the tower of kitties. Coming on with another loaf cat done. I made a black and white cat. I actually already made a very similar cat earlier in this video, but I gave it away to my friends, so I had to remake him. And this one's slightly different. For my friend's cat, it was like black and then white on the belly. This one, it's mainly white and then just black spots, but it turned out super cute. And I broke out the new skein of the black and white for Bernat Blanket, so I think officially all of the skeins have been open. And now next, I am working on a white and like, I don't know what to call this. I think this was part of the tie-dye yarn, so I'm making one to look like another calico. So this is cat number 12, I think. I'm honestly running out of room on my cat tower, like the cats will start toppling over, so I have to figure out a new place to put them. I might just have to like make room on my shelvings for the time being because the cats will topple over if I keep stacking them the way they are. So I saw this trend of adding these crochet cat loaves into a box that says kittens, and I think it's so adorable. So here is my take on it, and there's still tons of cats under the initial batch. They're all just kind of like stuffed in there. And of course, here is my real kitten, Shay. And I still have some up here. But yeah, it looks like we still have 12 cat loaves. I still need to keep going because we have all of this yarn left. All right, it has honestly been a few weeks since I made a loaf cat. I'm still at 12 loaf cats, sadly. I really need to pick up the pace because I wanna wrap up this video and show you guys the end result. So right now I am trying to work on loaf cat number 13. I'm gonna make an all black kitty. I just opened this new skein of black yarn, so I think I'm gonna do an all black another tuxedo and maybe I'll try to mix this with one of the other like speckled yarns. I think that would be cute. But yeah, let's get crocheting. Okay, I just got done the black kitty. I added some like white yarn so you could see the eyes better and then I made the mouth or I guess the nose pink so you can also see it. Super cute. So this is kitty number 13. And then I already went ahead and grabbed this yarn. Let's do this one with a black body and this will be the spots. So this will be kitty number 14. So what do you guys think about the new camera so far? I honestly have been learning to love it. Well, actually I shouldn't even say learning to love it. I have loved it ever since I started using it. I will say I probably have not like unlocked its full potential because I've been a little lazy. And when it comes to technology, I just wanna hit the on button and be ready to go. But I will say that this camera is super user friendly. I plan on doing like a full in-depth review because a lot of you guys have asked me to, but I feel like I have to give it like a few months before I can do that. I wanna make sure it's pretty like honest and that I play around with all the different features. It also came with one of those like fancy microphones that like attach to your shirt. I don't know if you guys have seen other YouTubers use it, but I have and I'm really excited. It has like the little fuzz on the end too. 
but the lazy part of me has not set that up yet. All right, we're going to be stuffing this kitty, kitty number 13. I feel like this is kind of like Lilo and Stitch where, you know, you have all the different experiments and their names are like experiment 626, but then Lilo named him Stitch, but I'm getting sidetracked. So I feel like all of the cats are numbered, you know, this is cat number 13. And sadly, that is the cat's name, cat number 13. Um, I'll have to come up with better names once all of the kitties are done, but for now we are just going to be calling them their number. I think he turned out really cute. The black with this like marl color looks really cute. It reminds me of a cookie. I don't know why. Like I don't know why it's giving me cookie vibes, but He's cute. Just gotta finish stuffing him up and we will be good. You guys probably saw in the other clip that I'm wearing pajama pants. And for anyone who's watched this channel, like you guys know, I dress pretty laid back. Like I always wear my oversized t-shirts. I always have like a crew neck on. I'm always in pajamas. And honestly, I love bumming it. I love being comfy. I will say I have never worn this shirt before on this channel because it was like in the bottom layer of my shirt bin. And the only reason I've gotten to this shirt is because I haven't done laundry in like so long. So this is the only clean oversized shirt that I have, but it's honestly kind of cute. It's like a bunch of tigers on it. If, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, there you go. It's from Urban and I got this back like during the pandemic. This design was really um, popular back then and I kind of forgot about this t-shirt to be honest. Like I forgot I even had it. So sometimes it is good to cycle through your t-shirt bin and get to the very bottom. So now this one will probably be on top going forward and you guys will be seeing me wear it a lot more. Whoa. Another cool thing about this camera is that you can control where it's pointing. So look. I put it up on my ceiling fan. It's so nice having a ceiling fan in my office because in my old office, I didn't have one because it was the dining room. So in the summer, when I get really hot, I will be able to just turn on the fan like I am right now. And it is so nice. Definitely helps control my hot flashes. So if you guys were wondering where I was keeping all the cats, I actually moved them into our guest bedroom and they're surrounding my jumbo squishmallow cat. So it just makes sense that they go home to the mother. And now I can add cat number 13. Oh my gosh, wait, I just did a recount real quick. This is cat number 14. I don't know how an extra cat snuck in. I must have miscalculated, but they are looking super cute with the cat squishmallow. We also have a random teddy bear here. My husband gave this to me one year for Valentine's Day in college. So of course I've kept him all these years. Good morning friends, coming on because I have some updates related to the loaf cat challenge. Last time I saw you guys, we were at a total of 14 loaf cats and I just had a customer reach out and she wanted to buy two of them. And part of me was like, oh no, like I can't sell them because I'm doing a challenge. But realistically, I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these loaf cats once I'm done this challenge. So if I can sell them now, that would be great. So I did go ahead and sell her the two cats cats. I actually sold her Shay, which is this lovely little loaf cat here. And I'm kind of sad about it. I didn't realize she wanted Shay until the very end because at first she was like, give me two loaf cats. I'm like, okay, cool. But then she was like, oh wait, could I have this one? And I was like, no, it's Shay. But I'll definitely remake Shay for the challenge. So she got Shay and then she also got this gray and white loaf cat which honestly is one of the cuter ones. So I was like, good choice, good choice. So these cats are leaving me and they are getting adopted. So I'm back down to 12 loaf cats. Guys, I actually forgot about these two loaf cats that I made a while ago and these weren't part of the challenge. Well, technically they weren't part of the loaf cat challenge, but since I did just sell those two other loaf cats, I think I'm gonna replace them with these. That way I'm still on track and we're back at number 14. So honestly, we netted out, like we're back where we started. But with that being said, I think we're gonna call the video here. So we are at 14 loaf cats total. I am so excited to film part two, I really want to hit maybe like 50 loaf cats. Like I still have a lot of yarn left, so I'm really excited for part two. I am going to hold myself accountable. I posted part one, so I cannot leave you guys hanging like that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and definitely subscribe if you haven't already so you can stick around for part two. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.